वेलकम टू एस्ट्रोबिक्स डॉट कॉम वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी वेबकास्ट इन पामिस्ट्री थम्ब इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी एक्सट्रीमली इम्पोर्टेंट इन फैक्ट इट वोट बी रॉन्ग टू कॉल इट द किंग ऑफ योर पाम इन द एबसेंस ऑफ अ थम्ब यू वोट बी एबल टू परफॉर्म मैनी डेली टास्क इन दिस वेबकास्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ थम्ब वी विल टेल यू how your thumb can provide information about your intelligence let us begin our discussion with some information about a thumb's shape and size an average size thumb reaches just below the third line of your index finger your thumb will be considered to be shorter when it reaches much below the third line of your index finger similarly if your thumb reaches much higher than this line it will be considered to be long an average size thumb indicates that you have a well developed mind you will be balanced in life and able to distinguish between right and wrong a short thumb denotes that you are not very intelligent you are much inclined towards your foundation and basic habits in other words you are always entangled among emotions like hunger thirst aggression and lust a long thumb indicates that you desire power and authority you have an influential personality if both your thumb and index finger are long with a developed zupiter mount there are chances that you will acquire power and achieve success It is also important to check the point of origin of your thumb. If your thumb rises from near your wrist, you will be very intelligent. You will also possess certain humanitarian qualities. In other words, you will be able to understand the happiness and sorrow of other people. If your thumb is rising close to an aggressive mass, you will use your physical strength in life you will fulfill your desires through your physical strength if the region related to an aggressive mass is also well developed you will be aggressive and get into a lot of fights a thumb rising near an aggressive mass is considered to be shorter even when it reaches the first line of your index finger this is because its point of origin is higher than an average size thumb now let us talk about mounts and ends in a thumb primarily your thumb is divided into two ends the part of your thumb with the nail is considered to be the first end the second end is the part which is attached to your palm the first end provides information about your will power The second end enlightens about your thought process. It explains your ability to analyze situations. If a mount is clearly visible between both ends, you are always cautious and careful in life. If this mount is soft, you may be careless. In such a condition, you are never careful in life. If the first end of your thumb is longer than the second you will easily get excited and rush into decisions you will not give much thought to anything before reaching a conclusion it is believed that such people have great determination and this justifies their actions on the other hand if the second end of your thumb is longer than the first you spend more time thinking about something than actually taking any course of action however if both ends of your thumb are same size there is a balance between your thoughts and actions if you have a long thumb your will power will never hurt anyone but you may lack humanitarian qualities if your thumb is short in such a situation you will only be concerned with yourself you will not give much importance to others If your thumb is short and its second end is longer than the first you may be lazy in life in such a situation 
you are not very intelligent. In fact, you don't have the ability to perform any task. Thank you for watching this webcast. Visit astrobics.com for more free Vedic astrology content. You can also consult to our palmist if you want to know more about your future.